Hello friends, this is DMC Aim and this is my quick review of Jack's Italian inspired ground coffee and this one cost £1.20 in um, the Jack store so I don't hold out much hope for it really um, last time I went there I said they didn't really have much in the way of bargains or that kind of thing but they seem to have upped the game a little bit since, um, since the last time I visited and they did seem to have a few more better not bargains but cheaper prices more in line with sort of Aldi and um, Lidl so let's take a look at the pack it says number four imported by Jax number four medium strong ground coffee from Arabica and Robusta beans Italian inspired and the tasting notes are roasted for deep full bodied richness and because it's got Robusta in it it's a Rainforest Alliance certified coffee on the back it says at Jack's we harvest our coffee beans at the perfect moment then we roast them to bring out the delicious flavours and aromas and preparation guidelines there suitable for vegans 227 grams and that's it for the pack here. best before date at the bottom there is May 2020 which is around just under a year on the best before date on this one and that is it for the pack um, as I say I don't normally like these plain black packs especially when they've got the label stuck on um, they never seem to produce a good coffee, it's always the cheapest, nastiest stuff going. So, considering it's Italian inspired, which is normally a dark roast, this is pretty light, this one. It's quite orange in colour, light brown colour, and the aroma is sweet and smooth. The slight nutty and chocolate tints, it's slightly biscuity, but it has an overall sort of peppery richness. That's quite unpleasant. Um, it's woody and stale. I get the feeling that this is going to be bland rather than unpleasant, but for £1.20 I'm not expecting much. But it doesn't even smell like coffee to me, more like a sort of scented cardboard. So that doesn't bode well for it. So the first thing I noticed taste wise is a strange aniseed like blackjack sweet hint but that sort of dissipated the more I drank it. There's a very noticeable peppery hint too. That's not so much a hint, but like someone has actually put white pepper in the coffee. It's smooth though and very bland. It just doesn't taste like coffee in the slightest. It's slightly sweet and chocolatey, but I just can't get past that pepperiness. It's described as Italian inspired and that is the worst description of a coffee I think I've seen before, except for the Lion's Coffee I recently reviewed, that was described as a gourmet on the pack, which was laughable. This is weak and bland, and in this case, it, I'd usually say it's a slight step up from instant coffee, but I'm sure there are better instants than this out there. It's very cheap for £1.20 and it's not unpleasantly undrinkable but one of the most boring insipid coffees I've reviewed and it, this one scores a 2 out of 5. If you expect flavour from your coffee give this one a miss. Um, really really disappointing coffee. So I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or anyone who's shopped at a Jack store. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews and you're not subscribed, please do so. That was my quick review. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.